Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in the previous videos, we have covered almost all the OOPs concepts. Now the last one which are which is re remaining to be com completed here is abstraction. So what is abstraction? Abstraction is nothing but a way of hiding implementation details, thereby showing only essential ones. So let's make it easier for you by making it something related to your real world entity, something called as car. Yeah, again, the car example, right? So whenever you go and try to learn car, the people teaching you how to drive a car tells you that how to use gears with when to use first gear, when to use second gear, when your when your uh, speed goes beyond 20 to 30 kilometer per hour, then use the third gear. So this is how they teaches you about gears and how gear works. But do they actually tell you how gear works internally as in what fluid goes where, what, what kind of uh, effect does that have on the wheels actually or on the engine? How is engine connected to gear? No, they don't tell you that much detailing about the internal working of gear. Why? Because they wanted to keep it simple for you. They don't want you to know what is the actual complexity being hidden behind this gearbox. They just want to know, uh, make you understand as in how to use the gearbox. So this was how the abstraction works in the real world. That is, they t tell you only what is required for you to be known and the rest of the important things is told to you but another complexities which are uh, not required to be known at that particular time of time time is actually hidden from you so this is how abstraction is used in real world now the second question arises like how do we actually implement this abstraction concept in the java world so in java world abstraction is actually being implemented using abstract methods so what do you mean by abstract methods abstract methods are nothing but the methods which have only declaration but not definition i'll tell you in that in the later videos first understand that there, there are two ways to achieve this abstraction the first way is to use abstract classes in java i have already told you what are classes we have used many classes in the previous videos so we will be covering abstract classes here the second way is to implement uh, the abstraction using interfaces so there is a difference between both abstract classes as a way to achieve abstraction from 0 to 100 percent or 100 level but interfaces are a way to achieve full abstraction or 100 percent abstraction in java so let's understand both first so in java abstraction is achieved by abstract methods abstract methods do not have implementation it only has method signature as i've already told you the method has public and abstract keyword is the important keyword here. This keyword makes a method abstract. So it has complete signature, but not the starting or end parenthesis, but a semicolon similar to what you have with the instance variables or other things in Java. It does not have body. It, it has only declaration. Third important point is that if a class is using abstract method, then it must be declared as abstract. So if my class has some abstract method, then for sure you have to make that class also abstract. But opposite is not true. This means that abstract class doesn't necessarily have all the methods abstract or any method abstract. So there can be a case when a particular class has all the methods defined, declared or a concrete methods. None of the method are abstract, but still I made my class abstract. Why? I'll tell you in few minutes, just for the knowledge purpose, if, if I'm doing that, that is for security purpose. I'll tell you why. Now points to remember with abstract class. A abstract class must be declared with an abstract keyword. I've shown you previously. If any of the method is abstract and if you don't use this abstract keyword with the class, then compile time error will come. So for sure, if you want to you make use of some abstract method in your class, then you have to make that class abstract. It can have abstract and non-abstract methods both. And this is third and most important point. It cannot be instantiated. And hence, 
since it cannot be instantiated with the new keyword that is why for the security purpose when i don't want my class to be instantiated at any case i can make my class abstract even though i have all concrete methods remember this for, it's very important from interview perspective they might ask you if i do i if i have all the concrete methods in my class can i still put an abstract keyword and if i do that why this is a very important interview question just remember this the fourth one it can have constructors and static methods also there is no restriction over these things last one that it can have final methods which will force the subclass to not change not to change the body of the method so abstract class can have both kind of methods abstract methods non abstract or concrete methods it can also have static methods and final methods also so final method does nothing but it makes sure that the child of this abstract class will not change the definition and it will use the same method as it is so this was all about the abstract class now the second way to implement abstraction in java that is 100% abstraction in java is interfaces so before java 8 there was something called as interfaces where all the methods are for sure abstract that is they never have declaration they only have definition they only have declaration they don't have definition that is they only have signatures they don't have the body so why do i actually need it this is uh, interfaces are used when i just want to tell that this is what needs to be done and i will let the children decide how they should be done in their own way so i tell them what to snoop needs to be done i do not tell them how how they needs to be done children decides on their own as in how to do that now that is the interfaces they can only be abstract methods not the body and it is used to achieve abstraction and multiple inheritance so all the abstract methods in a particular interface it should be declared using the interface keyword so this is how i declare my interface public interface keyword how did i declare my class as abstract using the abstract keyword so how do i define my interface as interface with the interface keyword <coughs> sorry now it provides total abstraction means all methods in interface are declared with empty body and are public and abstract by default so this is my interface right so all the methods are by default public and abstract i don't have to explicitly write it if i write only void abstract method then by default it in an interface that method will become public and by default abstract and all the fields are by default public static and final so this is the main difference between interfaces and abstract classes what when you define an instance variable in abstract class it it is just a simple instance variable as you have in the normal class but when you define an instance variable in interfaces it is by default static final and public that means that any of the child class implementing this interface cannot modify the value of this s1 now s1 is pointing to hello nobody can change it to high or something else it will always remain hello because it is final and static and it can be used by anybody because it is public so remember these two very important points by default the methods are public and abstract and by default by default compiler appends public static and final keyword in front of instance variables of interfaces so that's that was all about how interfaces work now how to the last topic for this video is how to implement multiple inheritance using interfaces so you must have remembered that my class has an ambiguity issue when it comes to multiple inheritance why because consider a situation when multiple classes have a same method called as add but they have different implementation one adds the numbers another just print the number then if i use a child class which extends both the classes and it calls the add method then which implementation is to be used in the child class was an ambiguity issue it cannot decide which to use so to remove that complexity multiple inheritance with classes is not allowed i have told you this in the previous lectures
but then the question i raise is like how to how does then java implements this multiple inheritance so the answer to this question is java actually implements multiple inheritances using interfaces why because ambiguity issue does not arise when it comes to interfaces how because in the classes what happens is the two definitions were different so the child was confused as in which implementation is to be used should i use the implementation from first class which adds two number or should i use the implementation of second class in which there there was a add same signature of add method but the implementation was just to print the two numbers then which one should i use but in the case of interfaces they don't have implementation at all they just have method body which says what to do but does not tell you how to do so child can implement Uh, uh two or three or more uh, interfaces and by default itself give the definition to the or the body to that method because it uh, the interfaces contains only the method signatures so this is why create multiple inheritance ambiguity issue does not arises when it come to interfaces because they don't even have the bond method body they just have the method de declaration so this is how java implements multiple inheritances and in interfaces now i'll show you by an example in the next videos where we use uh, abstract classes and interfaces and how to implement multiple inheritances in the later videos so stay tuned for the practical implementation thank you